All right, welcome to Tuesday, March 15th. Today's reading will be Joshua, Joshua, chapter 16 through 18. Sure good to see you today. I hope that uh, your Pi Day yesterday went well. I hope you got everything that you're supposed to. Um, with the chapters that are left over, nine chapters, uh, I told you that we're going to try to add something in. However, the uh, there's no better common denominator on this than three. If we made it four, then we got to make the next one five, or three, then two. So it's just three days of three. Um, so we'll stick with that and uh, see what judges can do for helping us make. We're going to make up a lot of time in, in the Psalms, by the way. Um, so we're not too worried about that. All right, so with these three chapters, we're talking a lot about borders. Um, you know, here's a picture of the map. Um, you probably have one of those in your Bible. Check it out. Use this portion of scripture. Draw those lines if you want to. Yeah, this is kind of like Leviticus. Yeah, I, I wish there was a way I could make it more exciting for you. But what was happening here is you're basically reading somebody's journal as they open it up and draw, you know, and survey uh, the area. Chapter 17, Manasseh's Borders. You know, the previously mentioned daughters whose father didn't have any sons are now coming back to, you know, get their possession. You know, and I really don't know why they did Even Josh was like, why, why, aren't you, why haven't you guys taken over the land? Why is there still even a city? Um, did God stop fighting for them? I don't think so. Did they just get tired of it after five years? Not real sure. And uh, so now they're dividing out the land uh, that they had already somewhat conquered, but they didn't take everybody out. Not sure why. As you can see in, in maps, Manasseh's land mass was much larger than everybody else's. Um, but apparently a lot of it is mountainous and less usable. And remember, Joshua is from this tribe. Now in chapter 18, we find that the tabernacle there in verse 1 is set up in Shiloh. It will stay here until, all the way through the book of Judges. So it's going to be here for a while. It won't be unto, until under David that everything moves uh, to Jerusalem. And then we talk some more about some remaining land, and then we focus a little bit on Benjamin. All right. Hey, hope you have a great Tuesday, and uh, looking forward to being here with you again tomorrow. Have a great day.